Hey everyone, I am Nitej and in today's video, we are going to build a real-time stock price tracker. This app will display live updates of stock prices on a chart, which is a great way to get hands-on with real-time web technologies. So we are going to use Node.js and Socket.io for the backend to handle real-time data transmission using WebSockets. And on the front-end side, we will be using React to create the user interface and Chart.js for visualizing the stock data. It's a powerful combination for real-time web applications. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with our code. This is VS Code and we have to implement the backend and the frontend. For backend, I am going to create a new folder with the name server and for frontend, I will create a folder with the name client. Now let's first open up the terminal and then cd into the client folder and then write npx create react app for our react app. I am going to name it as react hyphen socket. Press enter. Now while our react app is being created, we can cd into this server folder and then initialize a new node app. So npm init with the y flag to say yes to all the questions. Press enter. All right, so I will create a new file in server folder with the name server.js. And we have to import some dependencies for our server. These dependencies are going to be express to create our express application course for course whitelisting and socket.io for the real-time communication between client and the server let me also give you a very short intro for the socket.io package that we will be using so this package uses the web socket to establish bi-directional communication between the client and the server and then there are some examples which you can see how we have to use this package on the server side and also on the client side the usage is pretty streamlined for both client and the server so it's not really difficult to get started but if you have any doubts then you can always refer to the docs which are provided all right so in our server let's get started with writing the code for our backend first we need to import a bunch of packages for the dependencies that we will be using so i will be importing express and then course the HTTP and also the socket IO. Then we can proceed to create our express application and also to use the course middleware. After that, we will be creating a new server by calling HTTP.createServer and providing our application as an argument. Next, we need to initialize a new socket IO instance. For that, I am simply going to write const IO equals to socket io and then we have to provide the server that we created as the first argument so server and then we have to provide the options so for options i'm just going to provide the course whitelisting information we will be whitelisting our react frontends domain which is going to be localhost 3000 and let's also whitelist the methods as well so i'm going to provide the values for get and post now from this backend server we are going to emit uh, real-time stock data which is going to be mock data randomly generated but that will be useful to do real-time visualizations on our react frontend so io dot on when the connection is made so on connection we can provide a function as a callback which is going to have the socket as an argument so socket now we just have to call socket dot emit with the event name and then with the json data now what will be the data that we are going to emit for that i will use javascript set interval to periodically emit mock stock data so first initialize the stock data's initial values which are going to be the last price which is just going to be a random value and the day which is going to be zero now i will be emitting this mock stock data every two seconds using set interval so set interval and then this is how a new value is being calculated and we are simply going to emit the last price the random value and the incremented day the event name is going to be stock data we also have to wire up the disconnect event so when the socket will be disconnected then we simply have to clear this interval from over here now the only thing which is left to do from our backend server is to simply 
start our server by calling server.listen by providing the port number and um, this is the callback function which is simply printing the port number let's now check if our node backend is running as expected so i'm just going to write node and then server it says listening on port 4000 so now let's move on to our react front end over here i will be making the changes to the app.js file for the app component but before that we need to install some dependencies that we will be needing for our front end so first let's cd into the newly created react applications folder for the react front end we need to install the socket.io client package and also the chart.js along with react chart.js2 as well so i'm going to clean up what is already here which is this header and also let's remove this logo as well let's start with importing the socket.io package so import io from socket.io client now i will be using the line chart and with this chart.js package everything is modularized so we have to import all the individual elements and then we have to register them with chart.js to be able to use them so this is how we can do it import all this stuff that we need from chart.js also import the line component that we will be using and then we have to register them let's now initialize our socket so that it can start to listen on localhost port 4000 on which our node backend is running so i will be creating a new component with the name const real-time chart so this is going to be an arrow function let me just scroll up now in this real-time chart first we are going to need a state variable for the data points so const data points and then set data points to set the values so when this component will note for the first time then we simply have to start listening to the stock data event so for that i'm going to use the use effect hook so use effect and then um, hold on this is the callback function we only need to call this for the first time when the component loads and over here i'm simply going to subscribe to the stock data event so socket dot on and then stock data which is the name of the event that we are emitting from this server so data will be the argument and we will simply call set data points and we will append what is already there so current points is the existing value and we will be returning a new array with hold on all the current points and then the new data now let's initialize our chart data for the line chart so const chart hold on chart data equals to a new object first i am going to provide the labels value which is simply going to be all the days with each stock price so we can just return each day's value next we need to provide the value for the data sets property which is going to contain the label the data if it needs to be filled or not and then the border color so border color is just some random color which i have chosen and the label is going to be stock price and the data is going to be the the value of all the prices for all the days finally we just need to return the line charts component so let's do that return and then div now with this div i'm just first going to set the width and height otherwise the chart is going to take up the whole screen so style equals to first the width let's set the width as 1000 px and let's set the height as 400 px that should be enough and now within this div i am going to add the line component so line and then we have to provide the data which is the um, which is our chart data and now let's use this real-time chart in our app component so real-time chart now let's run the react app locally and see if it is working as expected i'm just going to write npm and then start so it says use state is not defined i guess i just forgot to import user state okay so i think i can do that over here so use state so the real-time visualization of our chart data has started you can see that every two seconds we are receiving the updated mock random stock price and when the event is received on the client then the react front end is simply plotting each data point on this chart by using chart.js so our real-time stock tracker is up and running displaying simulated stock prices as they update and that wraps up our project guys 
I hope this tutorial gave you a good insight into building real-time applications with Node.js, Socket.io and React. If you found this video helpful then please hit that subscribe button because it supports the channel and motivates me to bring more content like this to your way. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.